The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier. Our first reading is taken from the book of Ezekiel. He brought me back to the entrance of the temple where a stream flowed eastwards from under the temple threshold, for the temple faced east. The water flowed from under the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He took me out by the north gate and led me right round outside as far as the outer east gate, where the water flowed out on the right-hand side. The man went off to the east, holding his measuring line, and measured off a thousand cubits. He then made me wade across the stream. The water reached my ankles. He measured off another thousand and made me wade across the stream again. The water reached my knees. He measured off another thousand and made me wade across the stream again. The water reached my waist. He measured off another thousand. It was now a river which I could not cross. The stream had swollen and was now deep water. A river impossible to cross. He then said, Do you see, son of man? He then took me and brought me back to the bank on the river. Now, when I reached it, I saw an enormous number of trees on each bank of the river. He said, this water flows east down to the Arabah and to the sea. And flowing into the sea, it makes its waters wholesome. Wherever the river flows, all living creatures teeming in it will live. Fish will be very plentiful. For wherever the water goes, it brings health, and life teems wherever the river flows. Along the river, on either bank, will grow every kind of fruit tree with leaves that never wither, and fruit that never fails. They will bear new fruit every month, because this water comes from the sanctuary, and their fruit will be good to eat, and the leaves medicinal. And our response, is from Psalm 46. So we shall not be afraid, though the earth be in turmoil, though mountains tumble into the depths of the sea, and its waters roar and seethe, and the mountains totter as it heaves. Yahweh Saba Oath is with us, our citadel, the God of Jacob. God is in the city, it cannot fall. At break of day, God comes to its rescue. Nations are in uproar, kingdoms are tumbling. When he raises his voice, the earth crumbles away. Come, consider the wonders of Yahweh, the astounding deeds he has done on the earth. He puts an end to wars over the whole wide world. He breaks the bow, he snaps the spear, shields, he burns in the fire. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. After this, there was a Jewish festival, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now in Jerusalem, next to the sheep pool, there is a pool called Bethesda in Hebrew, which has five porticos. And under these were crowds of sick people, blind, lame, paralyzed. One man there had an illness which had lasted 38 years. And when Jesus saw him lying there and knew he had been in that condition for a long time, he said, Do you want to be well again? Sir, replied the sick man, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is disturbed. And while I am still on the way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said, Get up, pick up your sleeping mat and walk around. The man was cured at once, and he picked up his mat and started to walk around. Now that day happened to be the Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who had been cured, It is the Sabbath. You are not allowed to carry your sleeping mat. He replied, But the man who cured me told me, Pick up your sleeping mat and walk around. They asked, who is the man who said to you, pick up your sleeping mat 
and walk around. The man had no idea who it was since Jesus had disappeared as the place was crowded. After a while, Jesus met him in the temple and said, Now you are well again. Do not sin anymore, or something worse may happen to you. The man went back and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had cured him. It was because he did things like this on the Sabbath that the Jews began to harass Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord.